Welcome to Talk Wisconsin. We are back. Uh, it's time to talk local with Mr. Tremplow County. I'm going to call you Mr. Tremplow County. We're with Rob Grover. He is the Economic Development and Tourism Coordinator for Tremplow County. Rob, welcome to Talk Wisconsin. Hey, Tori. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be able to chat with you a little bit about Tremplow County today. Yes, boy. Not only are you Mr. Tremplow County, but look at what I'm looking at what's behind you. You've got that awesome poster i love that poster i've seen that at uh uh some stores in tremplo that painting so the poster there actually it's a series of the village of tremplo um themed posters that the tremplo chamber of commerce uh has done for for a fundraising effort actually so they've produced gosh i want to say four or maybe five posters now and they're all themed on the seasons they're gorgeous works of art and you can buy them at various um, stores and restaurants and, and other uh, chamber members within the village of Trumpelo. So yeah, they really illustrate well um, just the different aspects of why Trumpelo County is such an incredible place to come and, and spend some time and um, enjoy the great outdoors, enjoy, you know, great food and drink and all that. So. And, and the shirt too, the Trumpelo, the paddling, I like that a lot too. That's good. Hey, there's a lot of things to do in Trumpelo County. I'm a Tremble County resident like yourself, so I love this conversation. But hey, let's move on to the first question I have is, in this time right now of COVID-19, what are Tremble County businesses, what are they doing to cope? You bet. So obviously Tremble County, like, like so many other places in the state and around the country, you know, um, really um, has, has uh, been affected by the closings um, having to do with COVID-19. But Tremble County, you know, being such a rural county, our people are resilient and our business owners are resilient. And we're seeing so many places uh, do things like restaurants that maybe traditionally didn't do as much um, um, to-go orders or curbside pickup. They've really had to change up their menus to do that, but they've done it really successfully. Um, we've seen a lot of our retail boutiques, sort of retail stores really uh, embrace uh, more than ever uh, social media, and, and pushing to online sales. I know of some businesses within Trumplo County where their website was sort of a secondary thing um, before this, and now it's it's really out of necessity, uh, made them look uh, closer, at, again, doing more online. Um, and of course, Trumplo County still has all sorts of, of outdoor natural resources. Right. So our businesses really benefit from that. Yeah, let's talk about that. Um, I know the governor had sent, uh the message out about state parks being closed. I'm a big fan of Perot State Park, Tremplow County. Uh, is Perot State Park still open? Perot State Park, which is uh, right there next to the village of Tremplow, that is still open. The National Wildlife Refuge, which again is in the southern part of the county, um, that is still open. Of course, you know, they're encouraging people to practice social distancing and that sort of thing. You know, most of the state parks and areas that ended up being closed were closer to the Milwaukee and Madison area. Um, but yeah, our, our, our state park is open, the National Wildlife Refuge is open, and you know, most of, most of the, the different outdoor areas, let's say it's a city park or something like that, they're still open, but you know, you can't use things like the slides and swings and things like that. You still can go out there and enjoy the great outdoors. So. All right. Hey, Rob, we got about- add, golf courses will be opening coming this Friday, April 24th. So the governor actually changed the position um, that golf courses couldn't be open. Well, starting this Friday, they will be open. And we have about five golf courses here in Trumplow County. So another great way to enjoy the great outdoors and get some extra. Yes, and after so much time cooped up inside, the weather's turning for the better, uh, even more so where definitely want to get outside. Hey, we've given a lot of love to the southern part of the county. How about some stuff from the northern part of the county? We got about a minute left. Oh, you bet. Well, you know, Trumplow County is such a geographically big place, but you know, in the northern part, in the mid part of the county, we've got Petrick Park, which will be opening up soon. Um, it, it's, it's a county owned park, um, you know, up in Osseo and Strum and Oliva. There's there's just so many great outdoor areas. The Buffalo River State Trail, which is a multi-use trail that goes through the northern part of the county. That's open for business. That can be used by ATVs or bikes or, or walking, all those sort of things. So, you know, from north to south and everywhere in between, Trumplo County is it's just a great place to come spend some time. And of course, bike trails are open. You know, Trumplo County has so many incredible roadways 
Um, and, you know, so bring your bike into Trempolo County. I mean, anywhere can be a great route to go discover something new. Awesome stuff right there from Mr. Trempolo County right there. That is Rob Grover. He's the Economic Development and Tourism Coordinator for Trempolo County. Rob, thanks for coming on Talk Wisconsin. Corey, thanks for having me. We'll be back with more Talk Wisconsin right after this.